Hello everyone, this is SR Gadget here. Uh, I'm gonna make another short video. Um, this um, lower AR-15 here, uh, caliber 556. Uh, I'm going to do a little painting on it before I fully assemble it. I was watching a few YouTube videos and I saw how some guys painted. Uh, hang on a second. I'm gonna use my barrage here for my pointer today the fire, the safe, and the Rock River Arms, sort of the engravements that are in this uh, lower here. They painted them and uh, I kind of thought that was kind of neat. So I watched a few videos on how to do it and uh, pretty much uh, I like the one about when they use these little tester paints. Basically these little testers are uh, paints that you use for model cars when you're painting model cars and stuff like that so over here I have sort of like a paint thinner okay and then I got a flat white over here I got an OD green because I don't know if you recall I'm going to build this uh, lower as an OD green I already put the, the trigger guard as OD green uh, and then I have the, the flat red so pretty much flat colors uh, the plan is that I'm going to paint the fire red, the safe, I'm going to put that white, and the rock river arms and all of this over on this side, I'm going to do it OD green, with the exception of what's behind this little tape here, which is the serial number. Okay, then uh, of course I'm going to do the other side, it's just got fire and safe on this side. Okay. And... What, you all, what you're going to need basically is you're going to have need some of these brushes. I got them from Test also. Uh, they're only $1.49 or so for the brushes. And each one of these are $1.49. And this was a little bit more. That was like 3 bucks, But uh, it's not bad. Okay, and I got the toothpicks too, which I'm going to do. Uh, a mixing of the paint. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up. There's the red. There's the green. And here's the white. Put a toothpick in each one of these guys. Oops. Okay, give me just stir. And basically this one here is to clean the excess off later on. So I'm gonna open this up, get it ready. Um, it's gonna take a while for it to dry before I start really wiping it down to take the excess off. So I'll probably have to shut the video off for about maybe 15 minutes up. Got an airplane overhead. I'm doing this outside because I want the, the lighting to be pretty natural so you can actually see the colors and everything. So uh, every once in a while I get an airplane fly by. Okay, and you're gonna need some paper towels of course. Whoops. There's paper towels right there. Uh, let me see if I can strain this out again. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start with the red. I'm gonna mix it up real, real good. And basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it in. Let that set for a little while. Come over here and get the white, mix that up a little bit. This can get pretty messy if you're not careful. This one's a lot thicker than the other one. And here we're gonna go with the white. Sit there a little bit. 
And I'm gonna come around from the other side. I'm gonna use the brush on this one because this one's got more area and I could probably brush it on better than with the toothpick. So this one gets the Shut the video off in a little bit. Nobody wants to watch paint dry, huh? That's pretty much what it's gonna be like. Okay. Uh, I might have to give it two coats, not sure yet. Paint all this up here. not a perfect OD green match if you notice here I'm gonna put a little dab on there I'm gonna wipe it off later you can see the, the difference okay but when it dries it supposedly dries a little darker than what it is Say wait at least 15 minutes before wiping off the excess, so that's what I'm going to do. 15 minutes or so. And when this side is really good and dry, then I'll flip it over to the other side. And when I'm done, at the end, I'm going to uh, take some close-up pictures, put it at the end of my video so you can all see it. Okay, that's pretty much it, like that. Um, one of the things they say is you can take a, an old credit card, this is a, like a gift card or something, and you can just wipe off the excess. Let me do it over here. Makes the cleaning easier afterwards. So I'll do the white on this one. You don't want to wipe it too soon because you'll draw paint out of the out of the lettering. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the video, and uh, I'm wait about 15 minutes, and I'm gonna come back and uh, wipe some of this off so you can see how it comes out. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, everyone, through the miracle of time, it's been 15 minutes. And what I went and got was some of these uh, little uh, pads that I use to clean my Glock. I'm going to use this for the cleanup. So uh, I'm going to go around the other side and we'll see how hard it is to get this stuff off now. side I'm gonna oh it doesn't come off that bad you want don't want to put too much pressure light pressure because you don't want to suck any paint out of the, the letters so I'll just wipe it really soft oh that's nice that's really nice get another one over here
Oops. We gotta put, keep putting some of this paint in our eyebrows. We're just gonna smear it, I guess. It's better to just wipe and not do this. Alright, let's go over here. Let's do this white one. Looks like it got some paint all inside over here. Oh. This thing wipes pretty nice. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. There's another plane. As you can tell, I live near the airport. I will be continental, Houston, Texas. Ooh, that's a nice red. They had a whole bunch of different kinds of red. They had glossy red. They had uh, street light red. All kinds of... i just sticking to the, the red, the white, and... Uh, olive drab um, it's, it's sort of like it's not not a glossy finish at all so, I don't know what they call that um, it's like a matte finish mm. okay and over here you can see that this green isn't exactly as green as the old e green but it still looks pretty good I'm gonna <clears throat> wipe this off over here okay all right I think we're good here and I'm just gonna flip this over to the other side just real quick open this up get my red toothpick again still this guy up. some pictures for before and after so that you guys can see the after I'll take in a little bit but the before I already took some pictures so there we go fill that guy right in this is acrylic paint by the way and um, you can find it at any place where they have model cars because that's where this paint is usually used to paint model cars I got it at Michaels so go to Michaels you can pick up whatever color you want they have a whole bunch of colors okay and where's my credit card Any credit cards here? Okay, everyone, I'm back. Uh, I waited 15 more minutes, and now I'm going to clean this side.
we want to wear gloves to do this it might be a good idea sometimes because you get this on you it'll be a long hard process trying to take it out I just got some on me a little while ago and uh, I scrubbed I finally had to use this to get it out so if you want to wear gloves you can side hmm. wow that looks good I'm not thinking I'm gonna need a second coat so there you go process is gonna take uh, I don't know 15 minutes Wipe it off to this side, 15 minutes to the other side, 30, 30 minutes probably. I don't know if you can see that. But, uh, let me go around the other side so I can look through the youth viewfinder. Let's see if I can get you a focus picture. There you go. I think that came out quite nicely. Okay, this is SR Gadget. Thank you for watching my video. And I'll see you on the next one. The next one's probably going to be the, the mag release. I don't have it yet. But I'm going to get that in a magazine because after you replace the mag mag release, you want to test it. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, thanks for watching the video.